the phenotype of the Siamese cat. I was rapt as I listened to Stent's lecture at UCB when he explained the molecular genetics behind the phenotype of the Siamese cat, a breed that carries a mutation in an enzyme that produces dark pigmentation. The cats have an unusual phenotype. The tips of their nose, paws, and ears tend to have black fur, while the rest of the body is white. Not only that, the cat's eyes are blue. And apart from the black pigmentation of the extremities, the cats look very much like albinos. The reason is that the mutation that eliminates dark pigmentation is temperature sensitive. When the developing kittens are in the womb, at body temperature, the protein for the tyrosinase enzyme required for pigment production is inactivated by the body heat of the mother and her blood supply. So the fur of the developing kittens remains white rather than pigmented, and the eyes remain blue. In contrast, the peripheral extremities, such as the paws and parts of the face, remain slightly cooler in the womb, so the enzyme can function normally and the pigment can be produced. The result is the striking phenotype of the Siamese breed. The phenotype of the Siamese breed cannot be understood without understanding the higher-level emergent properties that arise during development. But we have not even come to the most interesting part of the story. Why are Siamese cats cross-eyed? Once the kittens are born, they become cross-eyed, and they stay that way as adults. As Stent pointed out, the biological reason behind this strange phenomenon is fascinating. According to Wikipedia, the same albino allele that produces colored points means that Siamese cats' blue eyes lack a tapetum lucidum, a structure which amplifies dim light in the eyes of other cats. The mutation in the tyrosinase also results in abnormal neurological connections between the eye and the brain. The optic chiasm has abnormal uncrossed wiring. Many early Siamese were cross-eyed to compensate, but like the kinked tails, the crossed eyes have been seen as a fault, and due to selective breeding, the trait is far less common today. Normal binocular vision in the kittens involves neural connections that map specific regions of the retina onto the brain. This is completed after the kittens are born. Correct overlapping visual fields required for binocular vision involve an active, light-dependent process. This assures that correct connections are hooked up properly and incorrect ones are eliminated. There is no blueprint for these correct connections. Rather, evolution has led to a flexible, adaptive process that is robust and that coordinates the vision in both eyes, despite individual variations in each newborn kitten. Normal binocular connections depend on elimination of stray light by a pigmented layer attached to the retina. But in the Siamese kittens, this pigment has been inactivated by the mutation. Consequently, stray light causes the connections to become skewed. The muscles and alignment of the eyes compensate for this abnormality and assures that the kittens develop binocular vision. There is no intelligence or design responsible for this, Rather, this is just one example of the numerous robust and flexible developmental mechanisms that coordinate the interactions of cells, tissues, and organs, not only in the embryos, but also during the early life of each juvenile animal.